Welcome back one and all. My name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Pillars of Eternity The White March Part 2. I think this is my fourth or fifth video today. I don't even remember now. It's a lot and it's awesome. Oh, so good. Can't even describe it. The last video we did some awesome role playing. It was so good. Let's go talk to Curran. He probably wants an update on what's going on with his people. That one guy is dead. The bleak walker did kill him. But it was not part of our code. We stepped outside the bounds. We were supposed to not do that kind of stuff. And now the other bleak walkers turned on their former leader, killed him in cold blood. It was awesome. It was a glorious explosion of role play. I think I'd miss this place. Had that much right. Okay, oh. get out of stealth. It's time well. for you to get out of stealth. Uh, all right, let's go take a look. Kern is at the rest. Uh, let's just stop here for one sec. Do you have anything else I want to buy? Probably not, but it's never too... So many just random swords. This is all old loot that we sold them. What's Blood Testament? All right. Some monks can do raw damage, which is pretty amazing, but we don't have a monk that we're using. We could always buy it if we get a monk. But we'll deal with that later. That's not important right now. What is important is handing in this quest and then going off and doing... We have to confront something. We have to kill some bleak walkers or something. It, uh, that's the other quest we'll do. We'll do our armor quest. Because we need to do something to unlock our armor's next level of awesomeness, apparently. Where's Kern? Kern's over this way. Right. He is standing over here. I found the bleak walkers. He never meant for this any of this to happen. You did what happened. Hattie and Elwina are dead, but I called the bleak walkers off in time to save their son. God, it's Hattie, but Eska lives. You saved him? Then for that I owe you everything. I can't ever make any of it right, but I'll try. The bleak walkers. I thought perhaps you'd kill everyone. I'm glad to have been wrong. I wanted the bleak walkers on my side. I could have killed everybody, but then I wouldn't have paladins to draw from. That could be an ally against this D-bag noble. Hopefully, anyways. We'll see what happens with that. It, it could happen. They could join me against this pompous little schmuck that I'm going to punt his stupid face across a field. I don't know why I'm so angry at him. He's just an NPC, and he's doing what he was supposed to. But I just hate him. He reminds me of Joffrey. All right. Um. So bleak. Oh, that's not the right one. Good. All right. Uh, anyways, we're going to just check this. I have to do... Go to the Wooden Plains and defeat the Bleak Walkers. Let's go find the Wooden Plains. And then we're going to go kill some Bleak Walkers. Also, the Devil of Carrick wants to talk to me. We'll deal with her in a bit, though. I want to deal with the armor quest first, and then we'll worry about NPC side quests. You Most of which we've already finished. Before we finished forth. Kana's and Aloth's and everybody's. Um, now, if I were... Wooden Plains were... Oh, there it is. Okay. So it wasn't that hard to find. I was overestimating the difficulty in finding it on the giant map that has all of the names of everything, apparently. My bad. Now we just wait calmly for the loading screen to finish. It is still slow. I should have put this on my SSD. I, I think I've said that every time I played this game. Even when I played the White March Part 1, I should have switched it over to my SSD. But you know what? Whatever. Let's go find the bleak walkers and kill them. I'm hoping we don't kill all of them. I mean, some of them are our friends now, I think. I don't actually know where they are, so we're just going to kind of wing it and go looking for them. Not up here at the caravan looking thing? Nope, okay. Perhaps over here at this circle thing. Pastor type thing. This is a very picturesque type place. Nope, that's the wrong formation. There we go, that's better. We need to get some more kills for um, the Devil of Carrick's mace too. She needs like five more kills or something like that. No bleak walkers there, possibly up here. That's a Bogra. 
Is there only just the one? Who got the killing blow on that one? Oh, Palagina did. Whoops. Yes. That was another chance to get a killing blow. Oh well. I messed it up. I'm sorry. It was all my fault. Let's go up here. That's a bleak sentinel. Okay. I... That's a lot of bleak walkers. Okay. Uh, let's go with our standard action. I, I need you to tank that one, and I need you to go around the side, and you not to engage. Disengage, run! Okay, I want you guys to fight. Oh, a loss. Don't die, please. Oh, Aloth is probably going to die. No, Aloth. Uh, what do I have to get you safe? No, okay. Well, it was worth a shot. She needs to get out of there before she dies now. Okay. Okay, good. They've kind of disengaged from her. Let's go fight the dead shot. You Join disengage and go fight the bleak commander. We need some ogres. That's what we need right now. Alright, things are looking okay right now. Let's Kill everyone on that one. Wait, whoa, 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 why are you disengaging? You fight the commander. I assure you that's what I wanted you to do. What does this do? Let's do that. And let's do a blinding strike too. There's uh, not a lot of damage output going on right now. We lost what? Oh, we lost a freaking ghoul. Who cares about the ghoul? Let's get some more ogres. How much life does that bleak send a left left? Not a lot. Okay, so you two. Move on to the next target. Uh, you engage that one, and you engage that one. I want you to finish that one off. Please finish that one off. Come on. That thing must die soon. Sentinel has a lot of life though. There we go, it's dead now. Now the dead shot's next. Oh, it's got lots of life left. How did that happen? Okay. Everyone back onto the dead shot. There's more life than I. Oh crap, we lost all of our summons. And Khan is down. That's okay, we're still doing fine. I'm not sure how it healed so much. Oh, she went down. Okay, now we're in bad shape. We should have taken this fight a teensy bit more seriously as well, but that's okay. We're actually fine. Uh, kill the commander. 
How did it get back to full life? Must be some sort of ability. That's fine, we have our own abilities. Bike Commander. Attack. And then the dead shot is dead next. What the hell is that thing? How do I get a revenant? What summons revenants? It looks awesome, but scary. And the last bleak sentinel will have a little more time for a little harder time killing, mostly because he's got that like really high uh, absorption. Let's heal up our characters. And now we'll win the fight. Slightly a little bit harder than anticipated, but you know what? Not too bad, all things considered. We also have second wins if we need them. Everybody back alive. Oh! So we have to take 300 damage from enemies to unlock the next level. So what did we get? Did it get exceptional? Is that what it got? Anyways, cool. It well. leveled up at least. And we got a bunch of exceptional armor and pikes and swords and a ton of gold. And all sorts of potions. And all sorts of more weapons and armor and junk. And more stuff. I'm going. So that was a cool fight. That was a harder fight, but really cool. Now we have to take 300 damage. That's a lot. Actually, that's not that much damage. That'll happen pretty fast, I think. I think at this rate it'll happen pretty quick. And what about the devil? Where's her uh, weapon sitting? Ten still. Ugh. Five more it? killing blows is not a huge amount. It's just sort of annoying. Oh, hey, there's a lurker here. Okay, we gotta figure out where... Wait, is it almost dead? Yes. Stop fighting. You, you, you. Back off. Well. There we go. There's a killing blow. Easy. That was a great easy killing blow. There's 11. <laughs> it's way easier to do them against single monsters than it is to fight a huge army. Because then I'm focusing on party not well. If I'm focusing on killing blows, people start to die because I'm not really paying attention to positioning at that point, which is not good. I know. Where are we going now? Oh right, we are supposed to go get fishery stuff. We need ripple sponge apparently. Hope oh, it's uh, nighttime by the time we show back up in Stalwart. Ow. Just cracking some fingers. Kind of hurt a little bit. I know I should really go to bed after this video. I've done so many tonight and I have to get up early tomorrow. Somebody wants an audience with me. How long is that going to take? She's leaving in eight days. Okay, so we got some time. Yes. What time is it? Oh, it's only hour 15. What are we going to do for like couple in-game hours. You know what? Let's just go back to our keep. Let's go do our audience with What's-Her-Face. I like the little side forth. quest type things that they bring about. So let's find out what happens. Deerwood. I want to come back when it's nighttime anyways, so. Although it takes only exactly 24 hours to walk back, so that kind of puts a damper in our hope that it'll be nighttime when we show up. Though if we spend a couple hours wandering our keep to go talk to this person... Hopefully, it'll be nighttime when we leave. 24 hour travel time. Boom, it's nighttime when we get there. We could do the fisherman thing. Azuril left the stronghold? Okay. I don't remember who Azuril even was or why I should care. I wonder if there's any new buildings I can build in this place. Nope. It's all the same. 
That is slightly unfortunate, actually. I know I'm not... I know I can't... Beggars can't be choosers in terms of keeps and stuff, but I'm a little bit saddened by that. That there's not a new building. Even just, like, one minor building would have been cool. Oh, well. Like a... Cannon tower. Yes. A cannon tower. Would be awesome. Who are you first? My lord. I don't wish to trouble you, but I could use your help in a personal matter. Okay. Allies together. Let's deal with the situation. This is harder to say than I thought it would be. My name is Odina. I fought in the Saints' War, same as most of my kin. I followed orders no more, but between one thing and another, I guess I made a reputation for myself. They call me a hero. Every street I walk down, I get handshakes and comments. The dozens, they act like I'm some sort of figurehead for their schemes. The things I've done, I don't get much sleep. The last thing I need is all the attention. All I want is some peace. Please, you're the only one I can turn to. Sounds like you could use some rest. Head out into the woods, you mean? I won't find rest in defiant space. Seems like half my neighbors are in the dozens. You're welcome to stay here until you're ready to return. Really? That would be wonderful. Just a little time away would be enough. I'm sure of it. Thank you, my lord. Do we want to march on the Yenwood? Not yet. You must That's coming soon, though. Before venturing forth. I hope she's not a traitor. It did say that that guy was trying to get a traitor in my midst, and letting a hero stay in my base might be allowing a traitor into my midst. Maybe not the best choice for myself, but you know what? You know what, guys? Sometimes you have to put a little faith in people and hope they don't screw you over. She is going to screw me over hard, probably. How long is she staying for? Doesn't even say. She doesn't count as one of my defenders, either. Ooh, I can hire Bleakwalker Paladins. Oh, they have some severely high... Um, security though. Goodbye, gold packed knight. Hello, bleak walker paladin. I am not complaining about that. That's awesome. And before we leave, we'll just do a quick rest, get our athletic stuff, and rough. You must gather your party before. It looks like fishery forth. time because it's night. Guys, group up. Come on. Uh, uh, white March. Stalwart. 24 hours. It should be nighttime when we get there. We'll go into the fishery. We'll do the whatever we were supposed to do in the fishery. And then we'll, we'll be good to go. Maybe I should swap Palagina out for the monk. I know I'm switching around a lot of characters, and that's kind of weird, but... I kind of want to try the new characters, right? And the Barbarian was so-so. I don't really know if I like Barbarians as a class. I'm sure they're awesome. I don't, maybe I just don't know how to play them properly. Yeah, Hattie and Elwino were definitely killed. Sorry. I don't know. The Monk might be good. Monks are f can be fun, but they need to take hits, which is fine. But who would we replace them with? Palagina, probably is we the most check likely. The for more crazy monks. Not a terrible idea. Tattered net appears to be set aside for mending. As you reach into the barrel and find a bracelet, a thick aura of essence clings to it, fresh with memory. You feel yourself drawn into it. In the memory, you stride into the fishery. The floors are swept clean, but the wood is still splotched with snow melt and fish guts. A man hunkers in the corner, his head nodding forward as if in sleep. He looks up at you drowsily as you approach. It's grinned. His face is youthful but sha or sallow, and his hair hangs in stringy locks. You feel a pang of anger and pity at your brother's debauchery. Arda. His voice is little more than a croak. It's past midnight. Your throat feels tight. Grind wipes out his nose, then examines the mingled blood and powder on the back of his hand. He shrugs. Your fingers clench around a coarse, thick fabric. Your father's best wool cloak tucked under your arm. Go! To raid Ceres, or Defiance Bay, or fucking Air Glonfoth. I don't care! You hurl it at the ingrate huddled on the floor. 
He picks up the cloak and looks at it with the same sort of dull wonder. He wipes his nose on the lining. A sudden rush of fury leaves your limbs weak and raw. I'll tell them. Mayor Cena healed. The neighbors. Everyone. You force the words through your teeth. But what? He mumbles, churning his words from a morass of snot and saliva. The stealing. You think I haven't noticed the money missing from the fishery coffers? Or heard Tana talk about losing a golden duke? You whisper, afraid even now that someone will overhear you and the words scorch your throat. You can't be found when there's work to do, but every time those merchant wagons roll into town, you've got coin enough for a few bags of ripple sponge. No, it's not. Grin blinks back at you. He rubs his red-rimmed eyes. Your own grow warm and blurry. Stalwart tolerates your sponge habit, but they won't abide your thieving. You touch your bracelet, a gift from Mother, plucking at the beads. You won't. He rises, steadier on his feet than you would have thought. I will. You stride towards him. Oh, damn. That's weird that it cut out there. I wouldn't have shamed mother and father while they were was living, but I won't let you keep it up. I won't let this keep up. Your anger swallows the last of your pity, anger at him for putting you in this position, for doubting your resolve, for failing to see. You're close enough to smell a stale, sour breath when he pushes you. You fall, watching his widening eyes as the ceiling spins in your vision. Isn't this just like him? Grinned with his foolish tantrums, never thinking of anyone but himself, and now you're going to be nursing a headache for a week. Just goes to show you can't help some people. But you remember him, too, your baby brother running through the snow, slipping and falling on the ice, and you're slipping and falling, and there's a table behind you, but it shouldn't. The memory ends abruptly, jolting you back into the present with your heart hammering and your palms sweating. Well, that's not good. The fishery door creaks open and in was grinned, staring at you, and the bracelet, in surprise and outrage, his face drains of color. You take shelter in our village and then ransack it like a common thief? You'd better explain yourself. His voice shakes as to his wide, squared shoulders. Galvino told me you were a rippling sponge addict. Seems you're much more than that. Any who put stock in the ravings of that bitter old fool deserve all the trouble they get. His face flushes crimson. He raises his voice, half turning to the guard with him. You killed your sister, Arda, right in this room. He opens his mouth to reply, but his words catch in his throat. The guard next to him stares at the bracelet, recognition turning to horror. Worth coming back for this alone. It was an accident. I was a failure and a wretch then. But I, I never would have killed anyone. Least of all my own kin. He turns his gaze down, offering his apology to his own clenched fists. What do you mean? I gave her body to the lake. But I kept her bracelet. To remember the cost of my own weakness. He loosens his hands and stares at the emptiness in his leathery palms. I ain't asking for forgiveness. I know I don't deserve any. My penance is my work on behalf of the village. And they need it, truly. You ain't exactly one to get invested in other people's problems. Turn me in. Let me go. What's it matter to you? Let me do the work Arda would have done. That's my debt to Stalwart. And the only fitting way to honor my sister. He looks up at you, eyes bright and clear. That's not for you to decide. You owe it to Arda and to Stalwart to tell the truth about her death. I kept thinking I could get by this way. But I guess you're right. It's time they knew the truth about me. He turns to leave, looking back at the fishery one last time. That's a little bit sad, actually. Drug addicts, man. That's bad stuff. At least we didn't get arrested for trespassing. Always a plus. We definitely could have, because we kind of were trespassing. I think I am going to switch up Palagina for the monk. I want to try out the monk. Um, so I'll do that between videos, but obviously I'm going to be doing that video tomorrow, because it is fairly late. i got to get up for work tomorrow, and unfortunately, this is not my work. If it was, I would be so thrilled. It but ever sadly... You that maybe those dukes sent you here to screw things up? It takes a paranoid mind to dream up a scenario where that makes any sense. <laughs> Hate to piss on your daisies, but them dukes will sell you out when it suits them. My life is theirs. I don't question how it will end, so long as it ends in service to the republics. Interesting. All right, I'm going to end the video here, guys. I know it's a little bit early, but I am tired and my throat hurts a little bit. I've been doing a lot of recording tonight. I did, what, a Neverwinter Night or two? A... Silver Creek Falls, and then three or four or five of these videos. So I'm going to call it here, and uh, in the next video, we will be continuing on our way. 
I'm not exactly sure what we'll be doing quite yet, but it will be something awesome. There's so many side quests and little things to do so far, and it's really good. I'm really liking this expansion. So take care, guys. Suggestions and comments, leave them below, and I'll see you guys next time.